Hydroxides are chemical substances that release hydroxide ions when dissolved in water. And because of that, the base solutions have a pH higher than 7. Hydroxides are compounds that always end with OH in their formula. For example, LeOH, ZnOH times 2, NeOH times 3, and etc. There are two types of hydroxides. Alkalis, which are soluble hydroxides, for example, NaOH, KOH, CaOH times 2, and unsoluble hydroxides. These are hydroxides that do not dissolve in water, for example, FaOH times 2 and AlOH times 3. To know which hydroxides are soluble and which are not, you can check my video about the solubility rules. Lastly, let's look at the most common hydroxide names. To name hydroxides, you first name the metal in the periodic table and then add hydroxide at the end. So NaOH is sodium hydroxide, CaOH times 2 is calcium hydroxide, and AlOH times 3 is aluminum hydroxide. However, sometimes we need to add Roman numerals when we are naming the compounds. And we do that only when our metal can have multiple positive oxidation states. For example, iron hydroxide can be found in two forms, FaOH times 2 and FaOH times 3. To name them correctly, we add our Roman numerals after we name the metal. That number must be the oxidation state in that compound. So in FaOH times 2, iron is plus 2. So the name would be iron to hydroxide. And in FaOH times 3, the oxidation state is plus 3. So in the name is iron free hydroxide. To better grasp the oxidation states of the element, you can watch one of my videos titled Naming Chemical Compounds. Thanks for watching, and if you want to learn more about the acids or salts, watch one of these videos.